So a very important concept in software engineering is this concept called draw. One of the most important reasons that we actually use software is so that we don't have to do very repetitious tasks. And DRY simply stands for do not repeat yourself. And we are beginners, so we need to cut ourselves some slack, but we've been repeating ourselves a lot with this console log thing. And one of the things that we're going to do in this video is we are going to use what are called functions to make it so that we don't have to repeat our console logs as much. And we can just have a nice little word just like this that can quickly call our console logs so that we don't have to type it out every single time. How is this actually going to work? Well, first we need a console log and I'm just going to have a very simple console log right here. And what we are going to do is we are going to place it within a function or a function data structure. A function is just a data structure. It's actually just an object. All functions in JavaScript are objects. And what's going to happen is that we're just going to type out this function right here. So this is the parts of a function. We have the actual word function. We have this log, which is what we make, was what we type out. We have these parentheses right here. And then we have curly braces that are going to actually create our function for us. It looks very similar to pretty much every single other data structure that we've been making. And what's going to happen is we're going to put our console log in it. And when we actually run the program or when this piece of code actually gets stored in memory, What's going to happen is it's going to take this function, store it in a memory locker type place. And whenever we run this piece of code right here, what's going to happen is it's pretty much going to get the code out of the locker and go ahead and run it. And it's pretty much a reusable piece of code that we can reuse as long as we have these parentheses right here. And the parentheses are very important because the parentheses are almost like the key to the ignition. And it's pretty much just like a key in a car. You can have the car, but if you want the car to actually run, you have to have the parentheses. So let's go ahead and VS Code. Let's check this out and let's actually start writing some functions of our own. Okay, so we are in VS Code right now and you've used functions a bunch of times, even though that we are going to make our own function here in a second. You have used a function many times before and one of the most common ways that you actually see functions is things like this. Let's just say we want to two uppercases. What if we wanted to uppercase a string of hello? You could have this hello stored in a variable as well too, but you could also use this function directly on a string. And whenever you actually log this, what's going to happen is that it's going to uppercase it because it is a function that is tied to the string data type. And when you do this, it goes from here to here. Now watch what happens when you don't have these curly braces right here. What's going to happen is that you're literally just going to get a function back. And that is a very important concept because if you don't have these braces right here, or you don't have these parentheses right here, it's not going to turn over the key in the ignition. The car is not going to start. If you have it without it, you still have a function. You still have a car and you can actually see this function within the actual console log. So just remember that in order for a function to actually be able to be run, you need these parentheses and a function literally just looks like that. You can always spot a function, but what if you actually want to make your own function? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a function the old school way. And keep in mind, we are just creating the function. If we want to actually run it, we'll have to go down and actually use the log. But let, let me just show you how you can actually just see the function and how you can actually just see the function in the terminal without running it. So we'll go down here. And once again, we don't actually have any hello. We don't have any console log within the, uh, the actual terminal because once again, we're not running it very repetitive, but it's something that I want to get across to people because I didn't understand this for the longest time. So if I actually have the parentheses, remember it's actually going to turn the key in the car and it's actually going to run and it's actually going to show in the actual terminal. But there's different types of functions in JavaScript. This is a very uh, unique thing to JavaScript. 
we just made what's called a function declaration. If you look here, I have the words function declaration. This is kind of the old school way of doing things. This isn't the newest. This is a bit old school. I'm going to put like old school right here. Technically, it's old school. You see it. You still see it. A lot of function declarations are still around. You still see people using fun function declarations, but this is the new cool way in order to write function. And there's even a newer, cooler way, which I'm going to make a whole entire video on. But just remember that this is a function declaration. This is a function expression. They are pretty much the exact same thing. In fact, if you ran log just like this and you ran log down in the console or you did so in v uh, VS code, it would run the exact same thing. It's just that this is newer and fancier. And if you look at it, it kind of makes sense. If it, if this function expression doesn't really make sense to you, take a look right here. This is what's called an anonymous function. If we got rid of this right here, this would be an anonymous function too. An anonymous function doesn't really have a name. So what's happening is that it's taking an anonymous function and it's storing it in memory at the log place. So what's going to happen is that it's going to take this log and it's going to store it in the quote unquote locker that I was talking about as a variable. And it's very similar with a function declaration. It's just that it has a name. So if we had a log right here, it's exactly the same thing. So let's go back into Visual Studio Code here and let's just practice a couple function expressions. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const and I'm going to call this log expression just like this. I'm going to have an equal sign right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an anonymous function that's going to hold another console log and it's going to say the exact same thing of hello. So let's go down here and let's go down to our log expression. Let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, we go ahead and we get hello as well too. So Watch what happens when we actually log just log expression, right? Like this. We don't actually get anything because once again, we're not actually running it. And let's see what it looks like underneath. And let's see what it looks like when we log it without the actual parentheses. And we get a function. Just remember that the actual variable where it's being stored is a function. It's just a function and it's going to remain that way until you run it. But as soon as you run it, it goes and gets the code out of the locker and then you will actually be able to see the actual console log. Another really important thing to realize about functions is that you can do all types of crazy things to them just like you can objects. So if I wanted to go to here and I wanted to add some type of crazy objects like number of hellos you can literally just add crazy properties to it just like this and you can see the actual values of the properties in here so if i go into here and i log the number of hellos just like this what do you know i'm going to get a one because you can literally attach crazy properties to it just like you can an object anyways that's going to be my video for today i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to smash that like button Smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.